Were y'all dating? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, here we go. He said, yeah, you said no. So not gonna lie. We were dating. You look very beautiful, though. Thank you. He thinks they've been dating since seventh grade. She doesn't think they are dating. One of them is living in the Lulu land. Let's find out it's, who. It sounds like it's him. What would you rate me? If she gives a very high rating in front of Ron Weasley here, then she doesn't love him. Who the hell is Ron Weasley? Who is the Lulu? What I rate you? One through ten. Like an eight. For real? Yeah. Ah, damn. Ron Weasley is going to cry in the car. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Go and join the gym. Yeah. I get a kiss on the cheek. No, don't she do better that. not. In front of him, if she Mark better Trump not. He's going to cry in the car. Don't make him go cry under his bed too. She better not. Why is she apologizing and making that face like it was not her intention? Like when my girl steals my chips from my plate and keeps eating it until her stomach is full and then she apologizes like she did not like it. You could have stopped to yourself. Are y'all dating? No. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, bro, she disrespect you like this from the from the initially when she said no, I would have walked away. I would not have been there trying to explain the whole situation. She got no respect for you, dog. If she willing to do that in front of your face, God knows what she's doing behind your back. One time, somebody stopped being my friend because I told them, if you let this boy run a choo-choo on you, like, he's not going to make you his girlfriend. Also, I knew he had a girlfriend. Mm. So she's telling me... Wait a minute. Is that round of applause, lady? That's round of applause, lady. Man, oh my God. Round of... If y'all don't know who Round of Applause Lady is, you got to see my video from uh, yesterday. This woman dropped a, a video where she uh, tried on a dress. And, you know, um, yeah. It was, it was a lot of clapping. It was a lot of clapping. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. All right, fine. I'm not kitty cat watching. That is none of my business. The first time they hung out, she invited me because she was like, I don't want him to like try nothing crazy. And I know you used to date somebody else on the track team. And I know if you there, he not going to try you either. And she doesn't tell me about the next time they hang out. So one day, me and my boyfriend are walking from the cat back to the dorm that we stay in. And one of the dudes from the track team said, where your little three or four at? Us. Which one? He describes her so I know which one he's talking about. And I was like, why? He was like, did you know that she led the team choo-choo? The other night, and I was like, actually, no, I did not know that. So I hit her up, and I let her know, you know, hey, he's telling everybody what y'all did. She immediately gets mad at me, and she's like, no, you're the one telling everybody my business. How could I be the one telling your business when you didn't even tell me that you did it? Mm -hmm. Clearly, I had to hear this from somebody, somebody else. else. Mm -hmm. You want to know who else heard it? His girlfriend. Mm. You know what his girlfriend had? Hands. And the girl used to tell me, when I catch her... I'm beating her ass. Right. I was like, oh, that's crazy. They ain't got nothing to do with me now. She don't talk to me no more because I told her the truth. One time somebody said. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. College and high school was, was some times. We were swiping a lot of Metro cards. So we was jumping a lot of turnstiles. That's that's the best way to put it. We were jumping a lot of turnstiles. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Waves. Why do you have waves? I mean, like, I respect it. At least you got your 360, but I don't like it. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Bro. <laughs> I take personal offense to that because... I was king of the wave. Well, I was one of the top kings of the wave community, so I take offense to that. I ain't spinning no more, but I take high, high offense to that. She just talking. I think probably somebody that broke her heart had waves. That's what that sound like to me. All the males getting the sleeves now. It's 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 getting ridiculous out here. Imagine you out and you can't find your dude, and all of a sudden you see a sleeve and you get the wrong one. Hey, what's worse, male fashion trend? Denim tears. It's a big ass flower, and then the pants like seven hundred dollars. It just looked like I can agree with that. It, so. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Men wearing cops. Right, what's the problem with that? Well, I think. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? They be long shirt. They get be long shirt. They turn around, start showing it. As soon as they get be, they turn around, they start taking boots. Like I'm done. Like they. 
Ain't it. <laughs> hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? The do rag under the fitted hat. Cause pick one. You can't have both. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Those chunky Balenciagas, like they're ugly. As I as agree with that. Off. They're big and bulky. I agree with that. Reason. That's the worst male fashion. Yo, I agree with that. One hundred percent. Now I ain't gonna lie. The only bulky shoes I have is them. Um. The Michael Kors, okay? The Michael Kors is my only bulky shoes, but they're not as bulky as them Balenciagas. I went to the store, and I was going to get a pair, and I was like, yo, time out. If you get this, you a sucker. I had to talk. I had to. If you get these pairs of shoes, you a sucker. Them shits is ugly. They bulky as hell. If something go down, if something go down, it feel like you have cinder blocks on your feet. You getting your ass beat. You can't run from nobody. You can't do... Mm -mm. I agree with that. Fashion trend. The bees in the hair. I do not like that. It's a, I, I don't I like agree it. With that. What's the worst male fashion trend? Waves. But shorty that said waves, yeah. Come on now, sister. <laughs> Come on now, sis. We're not, we're not finna do that, okay? Come on now. Where is it sold on the bathroom floor? What's happening here? What the f is this? What is she doing? What is why is she dressed like a pig? What in the pale pepper pig? What the hell? Yeah, stop that rolling. What is she doing? Hey man, get off that floor and clean that mess up, Lord have mercy. I feel as though they need to take y'all camera phones from some of y'all, man. They need to take the camera phones away from some of y'all. Going viral is not that serious. It's it's really not that serious. Oh, no, she coming, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, she did some gangsta shit. Nah, nah, she's wildin'. I f***ing her. I f***ing her, man. Oh, I f***ing her. Yo, I hate to see things like this. I hate to see women putting their hands on men. But also, I hate to see when grown men stand around and allow this to happen and wait just to see if he'll put his hands back on her so they can jump him. I don't know if y'all heard in the video, but somebody said you better not hit her back. I don't believe in putting hands on women at all. Um, the video I, I reacted to yesterday, the guy beat his girlfriend to a pulp and I think that's some soft ass shit. but at the same time I think that this type of behavior when people sit around and pull their camera out and, and freaking record instead of standing in between that situation and preventing her from putting her hands on this man and waiting around so they can react I think that's some pussy too this happens while on live Yo, this is on live yes I know, I'm like, my appointment was at 11. Okay, you can have to wait. Like, it's, it's, it's 15 past your appointment. Okay, but I contacted you. It's not my fault you ignored me. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to tell you in the chair right now. Okay, she's going to either have to get up, or you're going to have to do my hair. Like, are you going to refund me my deposit? No, 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 no
you know, these these new age barbers and hairdressers, bro, they they be wildin', son. I'm not gonna lie. This is why I be cutting my own hair and shit. I be I'm nice with my shit too, thank God. But I don't like going to the barber shop in Atlanta. These boys be they 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 be acting brand new, son. You walk up in there, oh did did you have an appointment? No, I don't have an appointment. I've walked in barbershops, bro, and folks ain't have nobody in the chair. They ain't have no client coming in for like two, three hours and would treat you on like some bullshit. <laughs> Yo, what is this? It's a poster girl's dress? This should look like an American girl doll dress. Yo, put it to your body. Oh my God. Bro, why this man walking around so heavy upstairs like like he wear two hundred pounds? But anyway, um, no comment. No comment. <laughs> How do you discover you have this talent? How do you discover that you can juggle and eat three apples at the same time? I just want to know. So what's the weirdest thing about the US? You lot call fizzy drink soda. Bro, it's soda. No, it's soda bicarbonate. Bro, soda bicarbonate is what you put inside of a fizzy drink. Yeah? Second of all, how can you man try to change the language that was invented to you for, for you by other people? That's like me going to Spain and trying to change up the Spanish language because I want to be an individualist. Now, nah, bruv, you man have 500 years of history, yeah? Pipe down, yeah? Oh. Let me educate you. Bruv, you man can say you're the biggest country in the world as much as you want. And you want to know why you think that's so hard and everything mad? Bruv, because you put billions and billions of pounds into an army... When you got people, mass homelessness, bruv, and people sleeping under the bridges and that. So you're telling me you think you're a bad man because you pay for missiles and leave people starving? Allow it, bruv. It's a mad thing. Sort your peoples out and leave your army to do their thing. They train for a reason. Save some lives and stop worrying about your bling bling and Donald Trump, bruv. I can't even say anything. Bro, why he came for America like that? Damn. Why he came for America like that, dog? I can't say shit. Nifa, he telling the truth. Hey, what's up, Johnny? It's crap, baby. Okay, last night. Can you turn those lights off? Which ones? The ones that are keeping me awake at night. Which ones, uh, Johnny? I mean, the rope lights aren't keeping me awake. The, what? The, the rope lights. The rope lights are they keeping you awake? Yo, I had a neighbor like this. I had a neighbor like this. Now, she wasn't that old. She was up there, though. She probably in her 50s, I believe. But, bro, she used to complain about the seasoning we were using when we cooked, bro. She used to complain. Anytime, let's say, it was one time we went to um this restaurant in the city called Mangoes. And Mangoes was something special, okay? If you ever had some Mangoes, you know Mangoes was something special. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't, it ain't quite hitting like what how it used to hit back in the day. But anyway, had some leftover food. It was some uh, oxtail. Oxtail and, and uh, rice and peas, and I'm warming it up the next day. And this woman texts me, Hey, are you guys cooking? Oh my god, the smell is coming through the vents, and oh, I, I, I can't breathe. I have to go outside and walk. Oh, the, please try, try to. I forgot what she said. Basically, bro, she used to complain about everything. She used to complain about the vac, the um, if we were vacuuming, she used to complain that the, it was making too much noise. If we were washing clothes. She used to complain it was making too much noise. I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy that we we got out that situation. Even though I'm upset that we end up selling the condo. And right after we sold the condo, the housing market or the prices of houses and condos in that particular area skyrocketed. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't. 
don't mind it. Keep them on till you know ten o'clock. How you trying to tell a grown ass man what time he need to turn his lights off? With the broke lights, they're not Stop. in your window. What? The broke lights are not in your window. Honey, I have to put pillows, pillows over my window so I can sleep. With those rope lights on, Johnny? Yeah. The cops came and they looked at the rope lights. They said they're not shining in your window. But I'll do you this. I'll do you this. I will turn them off at 10 o'clock. Okay? Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Is that okay? Now, now, come on. I got you. I don't mean to be a mean neighbor, and I want you as my neighbor. I got it, Johnny. All right? See, what I think what it is, Johnny, I think you just need to come over when you're lonely and talk and have some food and some wine. How about that? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, what's up, Johnny? It's crap. My boy said, I just think you need to come over when you're lonely and have some, 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 what, some crackers and wine. <laughs> That's funny, but it be like that. Some of these older white women be lonely, man. They be needing company, you know. And who who else they would love to have some company than than a grown than a big black man, huh? Than a big black man come keep a company. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it don't matter how old they are. They can't deny that, bro. I can't even say what I wanted to say. <laughs>